Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, first things first, I'm filming on my phone so that if the quality is not as good as it normally is, that's why. Because I share, well it's actually my fiance's camera and he's um, taken out for the day so that's why I'm using my phone. But I have a lush Halloween haul to share with you today. I've actually had these products for quite a while. I know they've actually got their Christmas stuff out now but I'm deliberately not buying the Christmas stuff only because I know that I'm going to end up buying everything. So I'm going to save that till probably the end of November until I actually do the Christmas product haul. So these are the three products I have and as I only have three products I'm also going to include demos of them so you can actually see them in the bath and how they work. So the first thing I got was a bath melt. I'm not a massive fan of the Lush bath melts just because I find that they make the bath so early that you can't wash your hair and when I do take baths I obviously wash my hair because it uses quite a lot of water so to have a bath just to relax it and just seems a bit extortionate to me. So this is the Boo bath melt. This was £3.50 and it's melted in my hands even now. It smells very fresh it doesn't smell what you would imagine it to smell like I kind of imagine this to smell almost marshmallowy just because of the sort of shape that it is I'm gonna put this back now because it's melting in my hands but the good thing about the bath melts is that they are quite easy to cut apart so that you can get sorry I'll stop rustling this but they are quite easy to cut apart so you can get multiple bath uses out of them whereas with the bath bombs it's a lot harder The next two items, or the final two items I have, are by pumpkin themed items, which obviously it's Halloween, it makes sense. So this one is the pumpkin bath bomb, and that's what that looks like. And this was £3.95, so £4 basically, which, like I said, for a bath bomb it is quite a lot of money, but, you know, it's nice every now and again. And this smells very clovey and also quite citrusy, which is unusual for a pumpkin themed thing. But I know that pumpkin doesn't really have a scent, so when you do get, you know, pumpkin themed smells, they tend to be quite clovey and cinnamony. So that is what that looks like. And I will try and chop this in half and get more than one use out of it, but I'm probably not going to be able to, so I might just end up using the whole thing. And then the last thing I've got, this is the thing I was most interested in. This is the, sorry, I'm looking at the receipt. This is the Sparkly Pumpkin Bubble Bar, and this was $3.95 again. And that's what that looks like. It's basically a flattened version of the bath bomb. And I think it had some sort of clove in the top, but it's fallen out just to make it look more pumpkin-y. It's very similar to a real pumpkin obviously so yeah i think i've done a good job kind of matching it let me put this back and it's got orangey gold glitter on it i don't know if you can see so i'm assuming this is going to turn the bar very orangey and glittery and the bubble bars are the things that i do buy the most from lush just because they're easier to get more than one use out of and with the bath bombs they're nice but they don't really do anything whereas with these at least you get some bubbles out of them So that was my very quick Lush haul. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye. 